Installing Windows on VMware Virtual Machine using a bootable USB flash drive. We have connected our 32GB flash drive, containing bootable installation files for Windows, to our computer. This bootable flash drive is created using the Windows Media Creation Tool which can be downloaded from Microsoft's website. To know how to create a bootable installation media for Windows, please check this video. It contains a step-by-step -step guide. Now run your VMware Workstation, or VMware Player, as administrator. It is important to run it as an administrator, otherwise, it may raise access rights-related errors while setting the virtual machine hard disk as a physical disk in further process. We will create a new virtual machine. Click on File, and then click New Virtual Machine. This New Virtual Machine Wizard will pop up on our screen. We will select the recommended, typical, configuration, and click Next. As we will be using a bootable flash drive for installing the guest operating system, we will choose this last option that says, I will install the operating system later. Then click next to continue. Since we are installing Windows 11 for demonstration, the guest operating system is selected as Microsoft Windows, and the version is selected as Windows 10 and later x64. To continue, click next. Here we can give a name to our virtual machine, and also choose a custom location to place all the files related to this virtual machine. Once done, click Next to continue. Here we will specify, the disk capacity for our virtual machine. The minimum default capacity is 60GB but we can change it as per our needs. But, at least provide 60GB space. Make sure that the Split Virtual Disk into Multiple Files option is selected. Then click Next. These are the hardware settings of our virtual machine. We can customize its hardware by clicking Customize Hardware button. Here we can see a list of some hardware settings that we can customize for our virtual machine. For time being, we will increase the RAM allocation to 4 GB and allocate 4 processors for our VM. Once the allocation is complete, click the close button. Click finish. Our virtual machine is ready with these specifications. Here we can see the default 60 GB hard disk created for our VM. We need to delete this hard disk. Click on edit virtual machine settings. Select the hard disk from the list and then click on the remove button. This will remove the hard disk. Now, we will add new hard disk configurations for our virtual machine. Click here on Add button. Then, select hard disk from the list, and click Next. Here we will choose the recommended hard disk type and click Next. Since we want to boot from a bootable flash drive, we will select the Use a physical disk option, and then click Next. Note, if somewhere at this stage you get access write related error like insufficient permission to access file, then most probably you have not run the VMware as administrator. Please run it as administrator, and then try again for adding a hard disk with the physical disk option. Now, here we will have to select the physical disk that corresponds to our bootable flash drive. We can see that there are three physical disks listed. This is because my system has one hard disk one SSD, and a Windows bootable flash drive connected. But which of these corresponds to my flash drive? To know this, search for CMD in the search box and then run the command prompt as administrator. This window will pop up. Type the command, disk part, and press enter. We can see the disk part written here. Then type the command, list, space, disk, and then press enter. This will show all the physical disks connected to your system. We know that our bootable flash drive is 32 GB in capacity. So, this disk 2 is our flash drive. So, we will select, physical drive 2 here. Let the usage be selected as, use entire disk, and then click next. Click finish. We can see that a new hard disk is created. And under device information, the device is mentioned as physical drive 2. Now click add again to add another hard disk. 
Select hard disk from list and click next. Select the recommended disk type and click next. This time choose create a new virtual disk option. And then click next. Here we will specify the disk capacity as per our requirement. Make sure that split virtual disk into multiple files is selected. Then click next. Click finish. Here, click OK. We can see both our hard disks are listed here. Now power on the virtual machine. If this pop-up appears, click yes. If everything goes fine, your virtual machine will boot from your bootable flash drive. You can carry on with the complete installation process. The operating system will be installed on your virtual machine from the bootable flash drive. It may happen that, on powering on the virtual machine after hard disk allocation, you may get an error stating that, the physical disk is already in use. This is because, for some reason the host operating system is using the flash drive in the background, making it unavailable for the virtual machine. To resolve this issue, we need to stop the host operating system from using the flash drive. To do so, we will deallocate the drive letter of our flash drive. Search disk management in the search bar, and click on, create and format hard disk partitions. This window lists all the disk partitions on our system. Select the flash drive disk, and right click on it. Then click on, change drive letter and paths. Select the drive letter, and click remove. Click yes. Click yes for this too. You can see that the drive letter is removed. We can check for our flash drive under this PC. It is not visible anymore. But it is still connected to our computer, and we can check this using disk part utility. This disk too is our flash drive. Deallocation of the drive letter should have made the flash drive inaccessible to whatever background process the host operating system was doing on it. Now we can try powering on the virtual machine again. There should be no error, and the virtual machine should now boot from the flash drive. Now you can start with the installation process of the operating system. As you move further with installation, this error you will encounter. This is because, the flash drive is not accessible by Windows. At this stage, go back to disk management, and assign a drive letter to the flash drive. To do so, right-click on the flash drive disk. Click on, Change Drive Letter and Paths. Here click on Add. Select a drive letter, and then click OK. A drive letter will be assigned to your bootable flash drive. Now cancel the operating system installation process completely on our VM. The VM will again try to reboot from the flash drive. Move forward with installation. This time you should be able to select the addition and install the operating system completely without any errors. Once the operating system is completely installed, power off the virtual machine. Then click on, Edit Virtual Machine Settings. This is the hard drive that is linked to your flash drive, and this is the hard drive on which we have installed the operating system. We want our virtual machine to boot from this drive from now on. This physical drive was only needed for the installation of the operating system. We don't need it anymore. So select it, and click on Remove. Now we are left with only our 60 GB hard drive. You can disconnect your bootable flash drive from your system, and then power on the virtual machine. The VM will boot using its own allocated hard disk. This is how you can install a Windows operating system on VMware virtual machine using a bootable flash drive. It may happen that during power on, the virtual machine gives an error with respect to lock, like, failed to lock the file. To resolve this, navigate to the location where this virtual machine is located. You can see this location by hovering over the name of the virtual machine. Or just right-click on the virtual machine name, and click on, Open VM Directory. This will open the location of our virtual machine. In this location, we can see folders with .lck extension. Delete or remove those .lck folders from that location. 
Now try powering on the virtual machine again. The virtual machine should start normally without any errors. So, we have covered the process of installing Windows on our VMware virtual machine using a bootable flash drive instead of using an ISO file. And we have also resolved a few errors that we may face during the installation process. If you found this video informative then please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time and patience. Have a nice day.